a deeply committed political personality. Born in a political family, she grew up as a child and teenager as an intimate part of our freedom movement. For 17 years, she lived with our country's first prime minister before becoming one herself for 16. But she was a person of diverse interests. Her contributions to nation building are well documented. She was equally committed to India's culture, to its arts and crafts, to its heritage. And deep down, she was a passionate naturalist mesmerized by the wonderful natural heritage of India, dazzled by the glorious biodiversity of India, and firmly determined to preserve and protect it. Today, the Indira Gandhi Prize on Peace, Disarmament and Development is being given to India's pioneering environmental NGO, the Center for Science and Environment. Since its establishment, CSC has become virtually India's conscience in the fight to preserve, protect, and improve our natural environment. Over the years, it has striven to raise awareness of the problem long before it became the major crisis we face today. We who live in this capital, notorious now as the world's most polluted city, can recall the difference in air quality when compressed natural gas was introduced in public vehicles. This transformation was made possible by the persuasive expertise of the CSC and the Congress government of the day. The center has worked closely with governments in other initiatives to reduce pollution, such as a reduction in the use of diesel and an improvement in its quality, reducing water consumption in the manufacture of paper using wood, not from natural forests, but tree plantations, profit sharing by mining companies with deprived local communities. Its work on water conservation and sanitation has been internationally recognized long before the current focus on these issues. 